In what way can games enhance the museum experience? I think games can be an entry point for audiences that are traditionally hard to engage with for museums. And um, certainly my experience has shown that if you go trying to, to engage with youth, if you go where they are and meet them in their world, technically at eye level, they will be much more susceptible to working with you rather than just pulling them into what you're doing, you're going to where they are and then you bring them back with you and take them on the journey. And I think there is a there's a huge potential for museums to leverage off that. Yeah. So which elements in games make it makes it so engaging? Um, well, in the example of Minecraft, in terms of elements that made it engaging, it certainly is is the whole process of, of building stuff, so you know, creative expression, and um, in that respect. Minecraft, as an example, was very uh, uh, suitable for us to work with as a museum because, you know, it, it's kind of a sandbox that's open to to any uh, interpretation of it, if you like. So it's it's not a it's not a very linear sort of game flow, but it's an open open canvas that you can do anything that you like. And then, of course, in terms of gaming, there's all these gamification elements that that um, you can draw upon things like quests, tasks, challenges, and then rewards, you know, badges, scores, high scores that people compete with. Like you, your standard sort of gaming elements that you can, can bring into the mix. And that doesn't need to, you know, doesn't need to be limited to what you're doing in, in a computer game. It, it can apply to to exhibition design itself. It doesn't have to be a computer game per se. So is um, gaming for everyone? Well, in general, yes. I would say gaming is for everyone. Um, I wouldn't know if every game is for everyone. Certainly not. Um, but I think that gaming mechanisms are very much a part of, you know, play, I guess, is, is a part of, of human nature and the way we learn. And um, yes, I think that certainly applies to, to any age group. And the experience that we've had working with gaming in a museum context was that it is very, you know, conducive to, to inter intergenerational learning because what we s see is that um, oftentimes the kids know how to play the game, or the youth know how to play the game, and they know the technology, and they don't, you know, they have very sort of, they're very confident using technology, um, but they don't necessarily care so much about the content. But the older people who come with them to the museum, they know the content, but they don't know the technology. And so, so what we've seen is that kids explain the technology to the to old folks, and the old folks explain the content, relay the content that the kids are looking at in that game to them. So it's quite a nice um, combination. Are there any risks of using games in the museum? Uh, if you, does it draw attention from other stories that you wish to tell? Yeah, in terms of risks, I mean, we are War Memorial Museum, so you know, war in itself is 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 a delicate subject in a way. So you have to be careful how you how you pitch it within the gaming context. So at our museum. Um, we always strive to tell the story of, of the emotional hardship that people went through when they when they had a war experience. Not so much about how they killed stuff, you know, how they killed people and how they got killed, but it's more about what they had to go through emotionally. And I think, um, you know, depending on what sort of game you're working in, there's a risk that that the players will focus on elements that maybe not as important for you as a museum that, that, that sort of they don't necessarily care so much about your narrative but it, but about the gameplay so there has to be a balance between those things and and you have to be careful how how you pitch it i guess so tell me about your best game experience in the museum my best game experience in the museum it's very difficult um, 
Well, it has to be one of uh, the game experiences that we had at our museum, of course. Uh, and um, I think it was one of the recent works that we did where we, we um, gamified our online collections database. So basically we turned our entire online collections database into um, a game, custom developed game, and um, enabled kids to explore what was usually perceived by them as a very sort of dry piece of data. You know, just to I guess a big table with stuff in it, but they, by turning into a game, they could all of a sudden explore the stuff in a very different way, in a fun way, um, on a big sort of touch table with, you know, 3D printed objects and they could go wild on it. And, and that was really beautiful to see, both for, for museum staff, because they could see the potential of, of um, how differently their collections could be used, but also, you know, from a visitor's perspective, because they just had a really great time across all ages playing with that with that game and with that technology.